are there tests that can be done on children to determine whether they have CMT prior to them showing signs of it? And we, we kind of dealt with that earlier. So yeah, I think you did. I was about to say. Right. Well, I think up till not so long ago, if you had absolutely no signs of CMT, you did not get tested, even though if the gene is known in your family, you could be tested. And the reason for that was, let's say you had a 10-year-old child and they were absolutely normal. And you as the mother decided, I really want to know if they have CMT. And they were tested and they were positive. The feeling behind it is, would you protect them too much? Would you stop them doing sports? Would you be overprotective? And that was the rationale. I'm not sure saying it was right or wrong. Nowadays, it's a bit more fluid. If there's any concern of the parents, they can have the test. If the gene is known, it can be a blood test. But if not, it has to be a physical examination with or without electrical test. But generally, people are not tested if they have no symptoms. Because bringing a child to a hospital for tests is quite traumatic for the child. You know, but if there's any concern at all, I think they should be seen. And parents are often very good. And parents that have CMT, it's much easier because they say to the GP, the CMT in my family. But what's really hard is parents who have a child with a problem and nobody in the family has had it. And they, may, they often give descriptions of years going back to GPs saying they don't walk properly and the GP looks at them and they say, well, they're fine. And it's, it can take a long time for them to access services. That's what isn't quite so good at the moment.